you get in? <laughs> Hmm. Puzzled. Trying to work out a new waterway system that you can't quite make out. You've seen pictures of it, but you can't quite make out how you get in. Probably better go and do an intro, aren't we, over there? Let's go this way. We seem to have an audience. Good gracious me. I think they think. We're going to brought them some food. Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we've got some interesting stuff to show you. Um, little bits and pieces from other videos that we're going to revisit because there's something I thought of last night and I thought I never showed that. Anyway, I'll address that. We're currently on a bit of a reconnaissance mission at the minute. We're by uh, Gorton Reservoirs, a um, place I've never been to before. We're in the east of Manchester. Um, the reconnaissance mission and the thing we're looking for is going to be in the members section on my channel. So uh, the members will get an exclusive view of the thing we're looking at. It's quite an unusual thing. We've seen it from a distance, but we can't get to it. It's in a ravine. It's absolutely impenetrable but we're going to try and get to it anyway that said um got a few things to show you right first off do you remember the drain video we did about two weeks ago down in the drain video yeah yeah do you remember that thing we found so, as we were coming out of the drain and packing up and getting ready to go, we're looking in the river and we found a wheel, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Right, so I'm going to show you this wheel thing and let you work out what you think it might be. To me, it was an old cartwheel with um, a wooden rim. It might just be a BMX bike, but I don't know. But take a look at this and see what you think of it. We never showed this in the video, but have a look at this uh, buried in the banks of the River Irk. Okay, so what do you make of that? Now, I could have this very wrong, and it might be not old at all, but it looks to me like a wooden wheel with a metal rim on the outside. Is that a wheel off a cart, or if it, is it a piece of machinery that's ended up in there? Because there was a, a works around the corner from where we are. But, like I say, I might have that very wrong, but that looks very old to me, and it looks like... A very very old wheel to me um, I really should have probably pulled it out and showed it to you but we were leaving we'd packed up and we're leaving I got that footage on my phone so make of that what you will but that's if that's what I think it is and I might be wrong but it's probably one of the best things we've ever seen on our explores Right, so we're in the undergrowth, impenetrable, impenetrable undergrowth. This is what it's like on the wreckage, you just don't know where you're going. This place is, a, it looks so easy on the map. Yeah, it's, it's so easy to get to. It's so dense, isn't it? Yeah. So, just on our reconnaissance mission, sat in a dirty hellhole of an old railway arch, as you can see there. And um, if you want to know where we are, I'm afraid the video's the preliminary video is going on the members section here because it's just a reconnaissance mission this um, you can hear water behind us it's just what we like <laughs> it's not for you this is it anyway um, do you know the Medlock Culvert? yeah so if you know the Medlock Culvert in uh, Medlock episode 3 I took some friends in there the other day um, they wanted to go and have a look at one of these watery places that we go to and uh, it's been raining quite a bit and it was the most flooded that the Medlock has ever been that I've ever seen. So I've only got a short bit of footage for you, but if you remember this thing here, the picture of this storm drain on the opposite side of the big Medlock culvert, well, we went in there uh, and it was in full flow and I've never seen it before in full flow. 
So just take a look at this that we saw the other day. It was, I loved it. So it's quite a, a rainy day, whether you can hear me or not. We've had some rainfall and I've never seen this storm drain so overflowing in my life. A few of us, just three of us, four of us have come across the river. Just have a look at the storm drain here. Um, the rest of them have gone down there because they didn't fancy crossing the river and I don't blame them to those of you. But take a look at this. This is what we love. So the guys are in here, we need to go down the, uh, the steps. No. So we'll go inside here. So like I said, never seen this as bad normally. I meant to warn you about that. I forgot. Well, I couldn't see any of it. Little pump spill there. Let's go in it. So I took my coloured lights along with me and we lit the canal overflow there. And we lit the culvert a little bit and took some photos. Um, I do enjoy lighting things up in different colours. Call me, a, call me a child. Right, mission, com mission accomplished. We uh, <laughs> caught some grazes and filthy now for going through the undergrowth. But we saw what, what we wanted to see. So, would you like, uh, after all that scratching about in the undergrowth, do you want to brew? Yeah, I think so. A brew and a wet wipe if you've got one. <laughs> I've got wet wipes, yeah. Anyway, a brew, I know, just a place. Let's go into town. Anyway, he's got his coffee, so he's uh, he's happy now. I think are we heading to a mill now somewhere? We are in the back end of Salford. Back end of Salford, an old mill. Don't know if we're going in or not. If we're going, we'll take you with us. Right. So for the last part of the video, we're going to have a quick look around this old mill here. How old is it, Danny? What what was the date you've 1891. got? Eighteen ninety one. Eighteen ninety one. Now it's courtesy of Colin, who works here, and he said. Come and have a look at my old mill. Yep. <laughs> well, it looks very sort of Art Deco, to be honest with you. Um, I'll show you the front and everything. To me, it looks a bit Art Deco. Danny's saying it's 1891. Colin has only seen it and it's like latest sort of like incarnation where it's a bit of a garage. Taxi firm in there. Yep, taxi firm, main line. Yeah. So we're going to have a quick look inside because I think it's been a bit of a grand place. Uh, what was it called? What was the mill called? A you bank look? mill. Bank mill. And we're in Salford. So let's take a look inside, have a quick look round. It'll be a quick shoot round because uh, we've got limited time to have a look. And then uh, we'll see if we can get on the roof. Uh, I'm not going on the roof and I won't mind going, Colin, if you don't mind, in the cellar if we can. Anyway, let's crack on, take a look at this former bank mill in Salford. Okay, so here we go. This is the side-by-side -side maps courtesy of National Libraries of Scotland. Uh, Left-hand map is 1891 to 1914. Right-hand map is modern day. And as you'll see there, we're on Lissadale Street in Salford. I think that's the way you say it. There you go. There's Bank Mill. That's what we're about to go into. Um, at the back there, you'll see Worsley, Worsley Mills, is it? Engineering. That's now been pulled down. Now, Bank Mill doesn't match the shape of the building we're going to look at. 
Um, Danny's got the date 1891. Uh, I think we could be wrong because I think this building, Cumberland House, may have been built later on the site of the old bank mill. As far as I'm aware, in 1891, they didn't build the cotton mills in Art Deco style. Now, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. But I wonder if bank mill has been pulled down. When we get into the mill, you'll notice that it is the, the Art Deco theme sort of continues inside the building. Uh, jury's out, not quite sure, but I think this is a later build on the former site of the bank mill. I'll leave it up to you. Let's get inside and take a look around. The, um, you know, the, the marble there, it looks like marble. And then the, the, the entrance there where you come in, that's the old timbers there, isn't it? Been a nice uh, entrance that. To the building. That staircase. Oh, yeah. was it? Is that original? That. Doubt it. Now, part of the mill is used as a garage, and part of it is used as for a taxi firm, and there's evidence of that everywhere. Uh, this staircase, I looking and initially I thought, is it is it original? If it's a later build, this possibly is an original staircase, but I don't think that is 1891. That staircase. Just a gut feeling I've got that this building is a later build. It's not the original bank mill. Um, and as we head upstairs, what I'll do is I'll just show you the features in in the building that seem to uh, that are quite interesting and stand out. But you can see it's been rigged up as a gym as well. So that's how these buildings nowadays have multiple uses. People use the space for all sorts of stuff. Look at the doors there. Um, it's been um, quite a nice building inside at some point. This. Look at the glass panel in there, and this lift is absolutely, love this lift. Uh, to me, that's Art Deco. Um, so I really was into that lift. And I'll show it you on upper floors as well. I'll show you the, uh, this, it's in better nick the, the, on the upper floors. This looks like some kind of um, manager's room, boardroom. Uh, and I'm thinking that because of the, uh, the lovely wood paneling on the walls. Um, somebody would have thought that was luxury at one point. And as we take a look outside, we can just see very industrial Salford there and the remains of the other the other building that was behind it. Was it Worsley Mill was on that site? Lift again. This is on the upper floors. Love that where the light bulb was there. Uh, and like I say, this is a absolutely beautiful. I think it's one of the most nicest things in the building. Trying to see through into the lift shaft there. And uh, that's another part of the, uh, another lift door up on a higher floor. Uh, it really is nice. I was really impressed with that. Anyway, I think we're going to go and take a look on the roof. So let's go and have a look on the roof. Oh, nice. Is it solid? Oh, yeah, is it a solid that. roof? Yeah, you see a lovely one off. Strange shape, isn't it? Yeah. There's another building over there. That they, 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 they had to drop that though because it was full of asbestos. All right. But you see where it's all the line of the fence there? Yeah. That's part of the canal. All right, you know, so it doesn't run that way? No, it runs that way. Oh, that way. There. Right. So that's, that's part of the canal reopening. So if you, if you look over there. But we'll just go up here and take a look. Shins in and without, without tripping up. So the railway line's there. That fence there that you see, where the green trucks are and then the other cars, the fence that divides it, I think that marks where the canal was, the Berry Bolton Canal, Manchester Berry Bolton Canal. I'm going to show you an old map in a minute of that looking from above. So just clock that and then look at this map that I'm about to show you now. Okay, so here we go again, courtesy of National Libraries of Scotland, new map, new map on the right or map on the left. And you see that the cursors, you can just make out the cursor on the right. Uh, I'm following the route of the Manchester Berry Bolton Canal there with the cursor. You can see how it comes near to our building, which is on the Bank Mill site. 
and I think it follows the line of that fence where those wagons were parked and then comes back over towards the railway line just at the bridge there. Um, so there you go. Now, if we ever tried to follow the Manchester Berry Bolton Canal or if they ever tried to reopen it, it would be nigh on impossible because, as you've seen, where it once ran, where there was a canal, is now a yard concreted over with wagons parked in it. So it's going to be one hell of a job if you ever decide to make it navigable again. But you can see we're in the territory of the Manchester Berry Bolton Canal here. Some great views of former industrial Salford here. And as we look over here, you'll see... Um, that building is beautiful and it's got cooperative uh, on the side of it. So I wonder if it was a department store, a cooperative department store. Sulphur Precinct there and another building there with the co-op on the side of it. People who know Sulphur better than me will know what that building was where I said it was the co-op. Um, some views over towards Manchester City Centre here with all the uh, beautiful glass and steel copy and paste uh, buildings that don't look alike at all. Uh, but quite a windy day. Let's see if we can go a bit higher. Well, some nice views up here anyway. Uh, so you're right across into town. Bit of an impromptu visit, but we're seeing we can go on this little building here. I don't know if I've got the uh, the nads to do it. But we'll see what it's like, what the access is like. What we're doing, strange shaped building, look at this. And this is why I think it's a different building. Uh, was it demolished and sort of like patched up like that? Or are we looking at a different building to Bank Mill? Who knows? Right, so you know I'm not one for heights, but uh, shall I do it? I'll give it a go. So better view there, and like I said, I can't get over the shape of that building there. And that line, I am not can't remember which line, where that line goes, I think it goes, uh, is it the Bolt out to Bolton? Some beautiful old buildings here, aren't they? And then you've got another one over there. Just line that up a bit. So apparently this little housing on here, this little building here you see, that's the top of the lift shaft. So we'll just have to take a quick look through the window, the broken window there. Have a look at the uh, lift mechanism, eh? Oh yeah. Focus, you bugger, focus. Very wet. Oh, not look light really. You got your light? Yeah. So things hanging from the ceiling. Right, so you can see how the mill's uh, supported on those plinths that have got the girders on top of them. Just unfortunately the floor's a bit wet. I've only got trainers on. They, they almost look new then, don't they? Them girders. Yeah. I don't know. Super forward. Flags on the floor. What are we looking at? Even. Yeah, got flags on the floor there. Flag floor. Uh, Now a little highlight for me was seeing this little sewer. There's a bit of a drain rat myself. I like things like that. 
stunk a bit, but uh, I like it. Anyway, I'm going to do the outro now, and I'm going to say that it's Bank Mill, but at this point, I still thought it was uh, the Bank Mill. I'm having serious doubts now. So there you go. That was the former Bank Mill in Salford. Um, a bit of a mishmash of things today, but I wanted to show you stuff. I had things filmed that I needed to show you that didn't really fit into other videos. So that's the end of this one. So thank you to Colin for getting us around the mill. Cheers, Colin. No problem. Thanks for Danny for coming with us, dragging him through the undergrowth, but looking at uh, strange things that you might see in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Now, just before you go, if you want to know what we were looking for on the reconnaissance mission, then the video will be out on the members section on my channel uh, about Wednesday this coming week if you're watching this video as it comes out. If you want to know how to get into the members section, you click the join button, which is on the main page on my YouTube channel. Um, sorry for the shameless plug, but it is a way that people can support me and help me to continue to make these videos, and I really, really appreciate it. That said, if the join button isn't for you and you don't want to do that, that's absolutely no problem whatsoever. The video that I'm doing the recce for at the minute, you will probably see in a couple of weeks um, on my channel, provided I can pluck up the courage to go and do it, because it was a bit of a complicated one and it was a bit of a scary one. Thanks everyone for watching, take care and uh, thanks for listening to me.